Hey everyone, I'm Aaron, and you're watching The Printosaurus. Welcome back. We are taking a look at a new product by Big Tree Tech. It is the Panda Status, and it may look familiar to some of you guys. If you have an H2D, it has a status bar that you can see here in the background. Well, this new product allows you to adapt that to your A-series, P-series, and X-series printers. So let's jump into it, and let's check it out. So the Panda Status adds functionality to your A-series, P-series, and X-series printer. Uh, you can customize this uh, to display your own customized status. You can also sync it to music, and you can also mimic what you see back here on the H2D. We're gonna add our Panda Status to our X1 Carbon. So I'm gonna walk you through what you need to do on this. Uh, it's gonna be similar for your P-series printer as well. So you should be able to follow along with how I route this and all that good stuff. Without wasting any more time, let's go ahead and get this started. First thing we need to do is scan our QR code and take a look at our instructions. So in your kit, once you have your instructions pulled up, you'll find that you have a small PCB. This PCB is what powers your status bar uh, by a USB connection. And there is a rubber grommet that you'll feed that USB cable through to connect it to this. So you'll have to print the bracket that houses the PCB. You can find that link down below. Uh, on Maker World, I actually found a couple of modified versions. I opted for a modified version and it really just cleans up the mount. It doesn't expose anything other than what needs to be connected and also adds a little reset button. So grab your mount, uh, the PCB just simply sets in place, no screws or anything. Um, so gently press that in place, put your housing together. I printed mine at ASA um, with this being, uh, you know, a chamber or an enclosed printer. Wanted to make sure it could withstand some heat. Uh, so that's what I would suggest just to be safe. PETG is probably fine. So let's uh, jump into my X1 Carbon. I'll show you where I mounted this. And then I'll also show you how I am going to route my wiring. Um, not a fan at all uh, with what uh, Big Tree Tech uh, shows you. So I'm going to show you where I routed things to make it look, uh, in my opinion, more professional. Okay, so we have our PCB mounted in our mount here that you can see. And what we need to do next is we need to work on removing this PTFE tube. Uh, so to do that, you can disconnect it in the back of your printer, and then you can pull that tube through. We're going to disconnect it here as well. And this is a good opportunity to replace this. Uh, take a look at your cable, see if uh, you have any wear, any tear there. Um, we're going to replace mine. So what I'm gonna do is also pull off this little cap here. Set this aside, we're gonna reuse that. And we're doing this so that we can pull off this grommet here in the back to route our power through. So here is that stock grommet uh, that's removed from this back section here. And we're going to set that aside. And then we're going to take our mount here. And it's kind of a spring clamp setup. So it mounts right up here on top. So we're going to take this and you can see here is where the USB will connect. And then here on the front is where our status is going to connect. So we're going to take this and just kind of press fit this in place. And we can slide this back and forth depending on where exactly we want to mount it. I'm going to mount mine somewhat close to uh, where the grommet will end up running. So we have our status uh, PCB installed. All right, so what you see here is the backside of the X1 Carbon. I told you I was going to run my cable a little bit differently uh, from what Big Tree Tech shows you in their instructions. If you're uncomfortable with doing these next few steps, uh, by all means, follow Big Tree Tech's instructions. But I'm gonna try and show you a better way to run the cable so it looks uh, more like a factory install. Uh, so that starts with removing this back panel. It's 16 screws. Uh, the wiki instructions on Bamboo site, I have a link down below for those uh, instructions. It's, it's relatively easy. You just remove the screws and then you can pull that back panel off. And that gives you access to everything on the back side of the printer. And that will allow us to route the cable down and through. Today's video is brought to you by PCBWay, pcbway.com. Jump online, check them out. For the month of September, they have a lot going on. You can get a TPU at a discount. You can also get uh, an upgrade to your PCBs. If you're looking for adding a splash of color, they offer a purple solder mask for the month of September. And 
there's a contest going on. So jump online to PCBWay, pcbway.com, great customer service, check them out. All right, so here you can see we have the backside of our panel off. We can take this panel, set this aside, make sure you don't lose any of your screws. Um, I have them over here where I will probably end up knocking them off, but make sure you put yours aside. Uh, I don't want you to lose anything in this process. All right, so let me show you what we're gonna do. This right here in the middle, this is your bed heater harness. So we're going to take our cable, we're gonna route it down through from our USB PCB board that's here on the other side that the Panda status plugs into. We're gonna route that down here. There's a hole we're gonna route through. And then our wire is going to come through. We're gonna route it on this side of our purge chute. And then we're going to zip tie it to this wiring harness. Now you want to uh, make sure you've got plenty of slack to run through. And we'll flip this printer around and we're gonna actually connect it to our Panda status first. Uh, and then pull the excess through, uh, get that taken care of so that any excess cable we can work with back here and keep hidden and out of the way. So here's the front part of the printer. Our Panda status is mounted. Uh, to mount it, take your build plate and pull that off. Uh, it just gives you a little more room to work with. And you've got uh, an adhesive strip on top uh, here that goes against the front of your printer and then one on the bottom that attaches underneath. So you're gonna clean this front with a, the alcohol that's provided, the little alcohol pad, make sure it's nice and clean. Peel your adhesive stickers um, so that you can stick this on and just kind of angle it, stick it in place, and then you wanna firmly press it. And that is all you have to do to get the Panda Status mounted. Here is our Panda Status. It plugs in right here in the middle. And then what I did was I routed it this way and then down to the back behind the lead screw. Um, and I fixed the cable with the provided tape that's included. Um, that's stuck nicely. Uh, use what you need, they give you plenty. Uh, and you can see I kind of mimic the routing of that uh, bed heater uh, cable that I talked about. And the big thing here is really just make sure that your wire there does not touch that lead screw. Uh, you don't want to have any binding, you don't want it to pull on it, you don't want it to rip. And then here you can see where we routed our cable down through. So to show you, so our cable routes down through and then there's this hole here that we run our cable through and then we have you know, the whole back side of the printer open to access the rest of the cable. But you simply run it there and then I use another piece of tape and I actually have it plugged in to the uh, PCB. All right, for the next step, we're gonna be working with the rubber grommet. You can see here my USB cable is hanging. So I went ahead and plugged that in. You route it through that hole that the PTFE tube works its way through. Then we're gonna take this grommet. You want the little notch over here on this side. So go ahead and take your grommet and stick it in place. So we have our rubber grommet installed. We have the PTFE tube plugged back into it. Uh, we have our USB cable hanging out the back. It's time to power everything up. So go ahead and turn on your printer. Go ahead and power on your Panda status. You'll see a green bar uh, that you can see here. Uh, that's when you know things are ready. And then grab your phone and pull up your Wi-Fi and you'll see a Panda status listed. Go ahead and connect to that. Uh, password is nine. 8765-4321. Uh, it's also in the instructions. Uh, but pull up um, that screen when it comes up. We are going to walk through the setup. So go ahead and hit the little Wi-Fi tab. And what we need to do is configure a Wi-Fi. So select your Wi-Fi, put in your password and connect. Once your Panda status is connected to that, we can go through the binding process. So to do that, you're gonna click on the little printer tab and you can scan your network uh, if you want, or you can just enter your printer IP. Uh, so I'm gonna go ahead and scan my network. We'll see uh, if my printer comes up. So my printer came up, I'm going to select it. Then what you need to do is put in the access code that is on your printer. So to do that, you're gonna do that on your front screen. So you're going to hit the little gear. You're gonna go to settings. You're gonna go down to your LAN only mode. And then in that, you'll have an access code. So you're gonna type that access code uh, into the access code line on your phone, and then you'll hit bind, and then that will connect your Panda status to your printer. Uh, so we're all set up. Really the last thing here is in your Panda status, you can do a couple of selections. On the control panel page for light effect, you can toggle between music and 
H2D. For the music one, uh, you know, if you got music playing or whatever, it, uh, it'll bounce around to the music, uh, to the rhythm, and uh, that's pretty cool too. But for me, H2D is what I wanted to do. So I have everything all set up, and that's it. Um, this thing works well. It's really just a status bar. And who would have thought, you know, having one of those on the H2D would be a welcomed addition, but it is. Uh, when I'm on my computer on the other side of the room, you know, it's nice to be able to just kind of glance over and see a status of a print. So as something is printing, the bar will move along, uh, you know, 25, 50, 75, 100%. It goes green when it's done. If there's an error, it turns red uh, if you're using that H2D mode. And it's just a good visual reference for you uh, when you're doing something else and you just want to glance and see how your print's doing without having to walk over to your printer. Uh, so it's a creature comfort, but it's a welcomed one. I'm going to add one to both of my X1Cs uh, and probably my A1. Uh, another good product by Big Tree Tech. So thank you. Uh, they did provide this um, and, uh, you know, it's always welcome. So thanks guys for watching. Really appreciate each and every one of you. Look forward to hearing your comments and what you guys put yours on. And if you have any problems, as always, just reach out. I'm here to help you. See you guys in the next video.